Um, if you're interested in learning how to write copy, this is a quick crash course, okay? Spend about five, 10 minutes here letting you know how to learn copy, how to get really, really good at writing copy. But I'm not gonna go super deep into it because you can learn this um, elsewhere. I'll show you exactly where to learn that. But the first thing when it comes to writing copy is you need to have all of the information about the product in front of you, okay? So what is copy? Copy is the sales text that you read on, on a page, like, you know, um, it, it's, the, it's the words that you read on the website that help sell you on the idea of purchasing the product or the service. And so when it comes to writing copy, you wanna make sure you have all the information at hand. You wanna make sure you have all the facts about whatever it is you're selling. Have that information yeah, right in front of you. Uh, you wanna have a fact sheet, you wanna have a benefit list and a deal sheet. So a fact sheet, so for example, when it comes to, um, when it comes to the difference between facts and benefits, check this out. So, oh boy, I can't, I don't wanna, I don't, well, screw it, here we go. This right here, this is a pigeon, it's a glass pigeon. It's a fake pigeon, these are facts. It's very lightweight, it's a fact. Um, it's uh, it's got it's covered in gold paint and green and purple paint. It's a fact. It's got this little thing on the top of its head. That's a fact. Um, it's got a hole in the bottom. It's hollow. That's a fact. Okay. Now those are some facts. Some benefits are it's indestructible. You can smash it. You can break it. I don't know if this is true by the way, but if it was true, we'll just say it is true. It's it, it's indestructible. You can't break it. Lifetime. It's gonna last forever. It does not break. That's a huge benefit. Um, another benefit is that it's beautiful. You can put it on your countertop and people walk by and say, "Wow, look at that." Beautiful pigeon. Um, it's a huge benefit. Uh, another benefit is that it gives off. It, it, it's been it's been blessed by the um, Egyptian gods, and so it gives off this nice um, aura that when you walk into the room, you can feel the, the pigeon love. Uh, so that's, that's a great benefit there. So you, anyways, you come up with a list of benefits. So you get the facts and you get the benefits, and then you come up with a deal sheet. And the deal sheet's kind of like the offer. You say, hey, if you get this pigeon today, I'm actually going to throw in mama pigeon as well. And if you're one of the first five people to get it, I'm actually also going to throw in this baby pigeon with it. Now you get the whole family. That's a deal. All right. And free shipping as well. So you don't have to cover shipping. I will cover the shipping. All you have to do is, is um, or you do the opposite. You say, hey, these pigeons are actually free. All you have to do is pay shipping. So it's a deal sheet. Right? So you get the facts, you get the benefits, and you get the deal sheet. Once you have that, then you, now we're talking, right? Gary's like, haha, I would buy it. Yeah, you'd buy it. And the reason you'd buy it is because I told you the facts. I told you the benefits and I told you the deal, right? There's a deal here, there's an offer. Now, the way to actually write the copy is to read great copy before ever writing it. So a lot of people will sit down on the computer and just try to start writing shit. Don't do that. Instead, wake up on the days you know you're gonna write copy, make sure you read at least half hour, 30 minutes of great copy before actually writing any. It's, you gotta fill your head with really good writing before you ever, Go ahead and actually start doing the writing. I'll show you where to, where to, where to do the uh, reading in a bit. Um, once you have that in, just flow. Don't edit. Just write, just write, just write. Don't edit things as you're writing. Just flow. Get it all out. Get it all out. It's going to be shitty at first, for sure. It's going to be crappy at first, for sure, but just get it out. Then have it edited afterwards by someone better than you. Because if you do the writing and then you try to edit yourself, you're going to be like taking forever. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's going to take forever. So have it edited by someone better than you. Hire a copywriter editor for that. Um, here's where to find really good copy to uh, fill your brain with, okay? So right here, bit.ly slash tedgarscribd. I believe this is like a, has like a free um, one month trial or something. After that, it's like 10 bucks a month or maybe like, I don't know, I even remember how much it costs, but it's very affordable and you do the first full month for free, I think. So that's where I get a lot of my copywriting um, material from there. And what you do is you go there and you, down, you can download everything for free, basically, because it's a free 30-day trial. And then if you want, you can cancel after that. You don't even need to continue. Um, so that's Scribd. The next place to find great copy is Swiped, swipe.co. Go to swipe.co and you get a lot of great examples of good copywriting there. And if you read one article on Scribd and one article on Swiped every single day, your copywriting is going to improve 100-fold. Okay? Especially for someone like Gary, whose English is his second language. Dude, your English is going to get so much better, it's going to be ridiculous. Swipe.co has got some gold mines. Um, this guy right here, I, I love reading this guy. This guy's influenced the way I write my copy for sure. Um, bit.ly slash Chedcar Gary Halbert. That's not an affiliate link. It just so happens to be the only way I can remember how to find this guy's website. Um, so that is like my number one go-to. If I could just pick one website of these three so far, I'd go to that last one right there. Bit.ly slash Chedcar Gary Albert. Uh, just because I love his style. But you might not like his style. You might like some other people you find on swipe.co. 
or Tedcar Scribd. You go to Tedcar Scribd, and when you're on the Scribd, you just type in copywriting, and a bunch of copywriting examples come up. Now, this one right here. Um, this book changed the way I write. It absolutely changed the way I write. Um, it's probably the reason why I told Jack earlier when he said, you know, I've been a drunk for over 30 years. I told Jack to get rid of the exclamation mark. Why? Because this book told me to get rid of the exclamation mark. This book tells me when you use the exclamation mark, uh, you're actually you're actually lessening the the power of that sentence. It makes the sentence feel kind of cheesy. It's different if it's a DM, if it's a message, if it's an email. Sure, that's fine. I use exclamation marks all the time. But if you're trying to write copy, you want to really avoid the use of exclamation marks. It, it really weakens the sentence. So, see, what Gary said that's really good advice, right? Two exclamation marks. That's cool. He can do that because he's being a friend. He's in the DM. He's in conversation with me. But if he says like, you should buy this and exclamation marks, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna buy it a lot less now because those damn exclamation marks. So this book right here, Ted Car Elements, um, check it out, purchase a copy, enjoy it, uh, rip it apart. It's a great, great book. I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a very short read too. It'll take you like less than um, less than a couple hours to read the whole book, and your writing will never be the same ever again. It's gonna change the way you use commas. It's gonna change the way you do bullet points and exclamation marks and where you structure everything, it's, it's like the best book ever on how to write super clean writing that people actually want to read.